And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Shen Barrier. Um, bringing this deck back, we really didn't play very much Shen basically ever um, until uh, it did get buffed up a little bit with patch 1-2. Uh, but before that, like just the months playing, we never really played Shen. And so I kind of... Um, Feel like i need to you know just play some more shen to make up for that so we're gonna go and try it again it's you know just our demacia challenger deck we're also um this could be like you know barrier challengers because um i'm changing up the deck a little bit from the last time that we played it basically what we're doing is we're taking out grizzled ranger instead we're gonna play a laurent chevalier um which i guess somebody in chat says this is this guy is the uncle of Laurent Protégé, so that's kind of cool. But we're going to try out one of these and just see if we can, um, you know, do this whole thing. Maybe create some other random challengers. And then we're adding into our top end. Again, instead of having those Grizzled Rangers, we're going to have one Gen uh, Genevieve Elmhart, another challenger that also has a scout um, and can pump up our team as well. And then just an Unyielding Spirit, because I don't know if you all have seen this card. But it's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad at all. So we're going to have one of these cards in here too. So we're basically adding uh, some top end stuff instead of those Grizzled Rangers. All right, well, let's play some Shen Barrier. We're going to go play five games over in ranked like we always do. And let's go have a good record. Let's go try to get the 3-2 or better. Maybe a 4-1, maybe a 5-0. Playing against some Yasuo. Alright, so we'll just mulligan the top end because we got a lot of it. So it won't be difficult for us to draw more top ends. So I think basically with our opening hands, any cards that cost 6 plus mana, we're automatically going to mulligan. Probably even the 5 mana card, the Swiftwing Lancer also. So probably just every card that costs 5 plus mana is just going to be auto mulligan. Because we don't really have to worry about um, not having top end cards because we'll find them. We'll find them. Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. Beauty in the blade. Alright, so no arachnoid sentry sentry. Silent as death. I did think about just like passing and not getting five damage in, and then they wouldn't be able to play like the Shadow Assassin. But, I don't think it's worth it. You know, I thought about it. But, you know, five damage is a lot. That's 25% of your life total. So, I, we went with it. But I thought about it. All right, so here, I'm not going to play the Bright Steel Protector. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to basically have the mana for single combat. If, if we had two spell mana, then I would be playing it. But I want the mana for single combat. So, I can go Lancer... And have single combat available for for something. I don't know for what, but just for something. Okay. Can't fight on an empty stomach. Do we get another twenty five percent of their life total in here now? may have like Will of Ionia. I'm trying to think what they want to do with that. Okay. So let's fight this little blade twirler before well, I guess I should I guess I should have just fought with the protege. That made more sense. I could have kept this at four health. Oh well. We'll fight that blade twirler before it gets real big. We're probably digging for Yasuo. Soldier to me. That's my guess. 
My Swiftwing Lancer is cut off. Injured. It's an injured Lancer. I could just go straight to attacks. Let's see. If I play stuff and they have Yone, Yone like says that can't bl block, that can't block, or like that can't attack, that can't attack. And then what? Then I play Fiora and just eat one thing. Maybe it's better just to. Simply attack. Feel the sizzle. So we don't walk into Yone. No one goes hungry. It's too late for you. I could play Repost and try to win. Their deck is filled with recall and stun. Like that's what their whole deck's about is recall and stun. So I feel like if I do that Repost, they'll just recall or stun. And I'll just kind of waste that opportunity. The eye of twilight sees all. They would fall by my blade. Feel the sizzle. They cannot hide. So if I if I play Unyielding Spirit, we could do that, but that takes up my turn. Doing this means I still get to play more things. She can. She's not impressed. Scared stiff, but don't hold back. Pause your best. This is also probably bad. I should probably should just have like the 6 3 with the 6 6 and everything. It's probably just pretty, bi pretty bad by me. Even with like the unyielding spear. Like, I should, yeah, I mean, I should just have these switched. That was just me being hasty again. It's a weakness I have sometimes. But it's all good. We don't, like, the difference between the four and the six damage doesn't matter. So in case they would have double will of Ionia, should have had it the other way. All right, but we got the first one. Had war chefs, which was really nice. So we had a good start. This this deck variation was your first love when you first started playing Rune Terra. Very nice. 
All right, spells and five drops get mulliganed. Basically, we're only keeping one, two, and three mana units. Maybe a Shen. Maybe keep Shen. Because the, all the spells are basically interchangeable. The top end's interchangeable. We'll draw those anyway. I'll write my own story. Um... So the thing about attacking and trading here, it, that's better against... It's better against, like, make it rain. No one goes hungry. Head to the base. Eat up, friend. But not attacking and blocking, Tracker can trade with a more um, useful card, like we did right there. Fortune and Quinn. All right, so Swiftwing Lancer is like the better challenger. The Chevalier would just get us that card advantage going. Do we really need the, the card advantage, though? Yeah, Twisted Sin was a fun deck. Yeah, you get to draw lots and lots of cards. Fun deck. Okay, so glad we played the better card. Yeah, it was. Yeah, so that, that one will be up on YouTube in about 15 minutes. Hmm. Understood. It's me taking six. Going down to six. Should I block with war shafts? I can block and barrier it, but I don't really want to barrier it. I thought I want to barrier this Lancer. The only way I lose this is if they like Yeah, I mean we're we're winning a long game. It is not yet their time. The only way they lose that I lose this is they just like you know get too much damage in. Pretty random. In a long path to get here. That was a great Rangers resolve. And the Purify was really good too. It was a really good turn for them. Probably gonna have to play Chevalier here to be able to double spell. Or Ch Chevalier. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, 
natural skill, all natural girls. Raise the banner. Seriously? Always two steps ahead. Nothing stands in our way. Not you. I won't back down. Why are they? Oh, right, because they trade. Never mind. I was thinking that was a 6-6 six, six still. But yeah, yeah, no, never mind. That makes sense to trade. Okay. So again, we just gotta stay alive. Because, you know, like we're, like I've, like we said, we're winning the long game. Slow down, will you? May just pass, I guess. I should just cast on... No, because I can't cast on Yielding Spear, because I could have another threat. Okay. Um... If only Fiora could see me now. She can. She's not impressed. I should have passed. I should have just played stuff out. Um, you know, especially like a 2-4 like this. A lot easier if these weren't Grizzled Rangers. Wonder what that last card is. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. Hmm, not that good. So obviously they wanted like to attack and all of my things have one health, so the misfortune would deal damage to all of them and kill them before I'd block. Awesome. That's big time, they just didn't even attack. Yeah, so I mean, I mean, they're just gonna die then. They don't attack. Another victory for House Laurent. All right, two and zero. I like, I like the changes we've made so far. I'm not sure about that. Uh, uh, Le, the uh, Laurent Chevalier yet. Not so sure about that yet, but... Oh, you think they had a rally in hand? That could have been it. Yeah, we got Caretaker. Caretaker's great. Mulligan Expensive card. Play V Burn. Trade and take one damage. Not bad. We could do that for these next like four cards and just trade and take one damage. Even for five turns of just trade, take one damage. I uh, will do that. Would we trade take two damage? 
The only reason why I'm pausing is because we do have the protege. It's a lot better blocker for that. The thing, the, but the but the problem with not trading is maybe it sets them up with like a transfusion by not getting these things out of here. Or a Noxion Fervor. Oh, I just like War Chefs too much. I'm gonna not trade, but also not feel good about not trading. Break their spirits and their souls. Who's gonna get in my way? Face the glory! All right, 13. Six damage there. Let me show you what I can do. Yeah, they're setting up transfusion. So let's see, Transfusion kills the Precious Pet, kills my Fiora, does two damage to me. They end up with a 2-2 Crimson Disciple. We go to 11. He uses their mana. Disciple doesn't really get through these things now. If they don't break, they'll burn. Down to seven. Ouch. I'm likely dead, down to five now. They've had, uh, just have too much, too much damage with these things, even though they've never, they've never hit me with an attack and I'm at five and they've never, and they haven't played a burn spell. Like how crazy is that? They haven't hit me with an attack and haven't played a burn spell and I'm at five. Right, now I'm at four. All right, well, they're dead. I mean, they're dead my next attack step if if they have to have four points of burn to kill me. Make that three points of burn now. Looks like they're going to hit me for one, finally. Yeah, we have an elusive, but we can't play it first. Long 
path to get here. Okay. This is a really good hand for them. They did that first 15 points without a single burn spell and without connecting. Just Crimson, you know, just doing, what, six damage with the Crimson Disciples, six damage with um, three Legion Grenadiers. And, uh, yeah, that's 12. Gross. They had the, the one drop attack dealt one. Yeah, Guardian would definitely help against Burn. I think I think the Burn I think it, I think our matchup's just fine. I think that Triple Legion Grenadier, and uh, and then also Deci Crimson Disciple with Transfusion and um, and Demolitionist. I should probably keep Shen. Yeah, we got Shen back. Like it kind of took all of that to to win. I think that normally Burn would be. Like the the weakened state of burn right now is is a good matchup for this deck. Old burn not so much, but new burn yes. So then there's just not very much of the burn deck around anymore, so I, I just don't think that Radiant Guardian is necessary. Absolutely. Yeah, Misfortune, Quinn, Scouts is absolutely worth playing. Yeah, that's a solid deck. We played that yesterday. If you missed it, it's up on the, the YouTube channel if you want to check out the list that I was playing and that I like. We speak with blades. So four four misfortune. It's kind of rough. Hmm. So they have make it rain. Don't want to trade war chefs. No. Hmm. Okay, so I trade War Chefs for Omen Hawk and Make It Rain. The Eye of Twilight. You have to share that, Matthew. It says that I don't have access to check it out. That's all right. Um, you know, we get to keep adding to the board. They didn't add to the board. We'll get this. We'll get this misfortune sooner or later. We got some other cards that we're working with. There is no dispute. Love ya. There you go. So these are all your ice cream options in, in your ice cream truck. <laughs> There's so many of those that I don't even know what they are. We have an ice cream truck that comes around here. <laughs> May 
they get interesting for me? Should have cast that before damage. Could have got rid of the barrier. Show them what we're made of. Yeah, that's pretty awesome though. That's that's so much stuff. That's really cool. So yeah, I didn't know different ice cream things. So there, you have an Angry Birds one, a Tweety Bird, a Sonic, a Powerpuff, an Avengers, a Batman, Ninja Turtles, a SpongeBob, a Spider-Man, Hello Kitty, Minions, Mickey Mouse. They're saying GG. Why are they saying GG? What are they doing? My shield is yours. Honor dictates both our actions. Born for conquest. Lose two life. Love ya. Do they have like a rally or something? That I don't know about. Break their spirits and their swords. Or maybe they meant like GG, like I'm gonna win this. It must be done. Run them through. Pause them there. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they just have like warning shots since they're just going to continue to frostbite my battlefield the rest of the time. It's plus three. Hmm, three is not enough. So close. So I could put him down to one. Like, you know, if Misfortune just had three toughness, you know, if it just had three health instead of four. Hmm. Yeah, they, that prismatic barrier they stole from me, too. Uh,. Stole my unyielding spirit. Stand and fight. All eyes on me. Understood. to negative four there is no dispute how is this thing doing so much damage to me oh misfortune has overwhelm too that's right I forgot leveled up misfortune has overwhelm right So close. Negative one. No, not very close. 
Just couldn't kill couldn't kill that misfortune. Unbalanced. The the biggest mistake I made that game. There was one mistake that it, that um, ended up costing me, and and honestly, I don't think it was a mistake at all at the time. It's just how that game played out. The one thing that I need to do differently was um, turn three. I needed to block Omen Hawk with War Chefs on turn three. Um, I didn't do that because you know I didn't want to trade for the Make It Rain, which they had. But if I would have done that, then they couldn't. Um, attack with the Omen Hawk again the net on turn five whenever I blocked with the Shen that gave them another misfortune attack so that was the that was the mistake that I did was not blocking and getting that out you know I didn't know that they weren't going to have another thing to attack with and that misfortune was going to you know obviously I didn't know like all that stuff that was going to be happening but that was the decision that I needed that I needed to make But yeah, we got him down to one. That would have been great if, you know, if they had one less life, if that would have been lethal, you know, for how they were doing the GG for a while. That would have been great if it was lethal, but it wasn't. Unfortunately. So close. You can see the Devastian border from here. My shield is yours. No, I don't know of any good Anivia deck right now. Um, Anivia is just just too slow. Nature blesses her followers. Um... No, probably not, Matthew. I mean, I don't know why that would be bad. I don't I don't think you're going to be doing anything bad with the subdivision, so just because you know the code to get in, I think that's, that's okay. Nothing escapes my watch. Averroes and Sentry, good against Bright Steel Protector. Right out. Lines up well for him. No closer. Understood. I'll stop you. Light the signal fires. Alert the villains. Yeah, even the Anivia Shadow Isles decks, they're just really too slow and just less powerful than what other people are doing. Balance favors you. I assume their deck doesn't play that much removal. I'll keep that alive. Obviously, if they just have a uh, Withering Whale, that would be the worst thing that we could see. So it's better to play Scythria on their turn, on turn six, and then Elmheart on my turn 
to get that pump, but it may be safer to play Elmhart on their turn to get these things out of Withering Whale range. Everyone's a garden. Okay, so like this is just gonna kill two things. Um, I mean, do I want to stand united and save stuff? Hmm. I mean, maybe worth saving this caretaker. But could be lethal next turn if I do save it. If they have no other removal and. Um, let's see. Then we go fearsome. Uh, I'd have to, and then I'd have to, I'd have to have this as the challenger to challenge that. Eh. Soldier, to me. I'll just play our six drops. This way. Or five. Nature blesses her followers. We each defend our brethren. Been having fun with Shen Lux. Okay, that's another good, another good way to play Shen. That should give me lethal now. Pretty sure. Yeah. There we go, three and two. Yeah, I agree that that's, I, I agree. That's a better way to uh, build a Lux deck is not really, you don't necessarily need to rely on Lux and um, you know, he, your deck is good without Lux, yeah. Definitely. And then just when you have Lux, it's even stronger. Okay, but anyway, so that's Shen Barrier. Went 3-2. and two. Both those losses were pretty close also. Um, pretty good deck. I didn't really miss Grizzled Ranger. I think, I like having Genevieve Elmhart and Unyielding Spirit instead. The Chevalier, the, the Chevalier, there's so many different cards you can play instead of this Laurent Chevalier. Um, and so many good options, you know, I'm, I just wanted to give this card a try, but I wouldn't mind the third Prismatic Barrier to have another three mana barrier. I wouldn't mind playing a Shadow Assassin, like Shadow Assassin's just a great card. Could go in here just fine. Um, you know, you can block elusives and stuff like that. You could play Twin Disciplines. Um, you know, just a good card. Nice nice card is a one of. Could have a deny. I'm not sure about that. Uh, Silverwing Vanguard. Good. Double Challenger. Um, you know, if you want more, if you want a removal spell, you can have Concerted Strike. I don't think you really want Will of Ionia, but uh, back to back is another good trick. So lots of good cards there that you could kind of have. Um, even River Shaper. Thought, thought about playing just a River Shaper because River Shaper as a three drop um, does curve into Shen better. You know, we do already have Fiora and Protege, but in case, you know, we don't always have those cards, but, you know, River Shaper could uh, be a good card also. So tons of tons of options for this, this slot with the Laurent Chevalier. Uh, 
basically whatever um, whatever uh, you want to put in there is fine by me. All right, good uh, good straightforward deck here, Shen Barrier. Uh, man, we really didn't have single combat hardly ever, did we? Single combat's like one of our very best cards, and we basically never had this card. We still did good. Still won three out of five. Take that 60% win rate. All right, but anyway, thank you so much for watching some Shen Barrier. Those of y'all on YouTube, uh, you know, hit that like button, leave those comments, all that kind of stuff. But uh, we'll see you for the next video.